I don't mind. Uh, my name is Adam Rosan. I'm the director of audience engagement for the Worcester Art Museum in Worcester, Massachusetts. I thought when I was in college that I'd probably go into one of two things. I, I really wanted to work with people, and so for a while I was like, oh, it'd be so great to work at a university and be in an like, office of student life, and that would be really great because people are so enthusiastic. But then I, I kept thinking about like, like this art thing and museums, and I thought there's something really special about museums, that like you have these places and that people can come there and they're safe and they're welcomed and no one's turned away and everybody's made to feel equal and I really like that and I, I kind of believe it. Wow, wham. Um, about maybe seven museums later, a uh, master's degree, um, I went from the Museum of Science to the Boston Children's Museum to the Boston Public Library to the Museum of Fine Arts to uh, Harvard University Art Museums to Oakland Museum of California, um, living in San Francisco, working in Oakland, then back out here. Did some um, position here. I know that your position is um, audience engagement. Yeah. What does that consist of? Sure. Um, I didn't get to come up with it, so they, they already had it. Okay. But well, I'm the first director of this new division, so within the United States of America, there's probably about 40 or so audience engagement divisions in the country. And most of them are kind of a, a collection of various departments. The idea is that you can focus all these various departments around the visitor, around the experience of what we want people to have at the museum. What does that mean for us? Well, it means that we have to figure it out because there's no textbook, there's no roadmap. You have to literally invent it. And so here at the Worcester Art Museum, we are a configuration of visitor services, so the people that you meet when you check in, you buy your ticket the education department, you know, the, the people who do the tours and the programs and part of the exhibitions and the studio classes. We teach programs here so you can teach art history or you can learn art history or sculpture or painting, so on and so forth. The library, and then I also oversee the marketing, communications, and design department. And what we really want to do is get you from the moment you see that advertisement or that Facebook post or that article in the paper all the way to the moment you leave the building. We want to be a part of that experience. So within Lots of things at once. But it's also, too, about recognizing all the changes that are happening both on the college campuses, like Assumption College, but also in the region and our, in our city of Worcester. Like, what's happening here and how do we kind of work with it? So we're adjusting and evolving, and I hope over time my division and the institution can figure out what does it mean to be a museum now? What does it mean to be a museum that's really participating in this ever-changing dialogue around art and education and experience. So do you have like a specific example of one of those projects from either this past couple months or um, a coming project coming up? In yeah, the totally, months? totally. That's a great question. Um, I think a recent project is the opening of the Knights Exhibition, which is the rehanging of, the, of a selection of the John Woodman Higgins Collection from the Higgins Armory Museum. So what we did was that we just didn't rehang it, we tried to have a dialogue between the, the collection that was here and through this dialogue and thinking about how to engage families and children, we found a new approach. So it's an exhibition within an exhibition, so that's really neat for us and a, a whole new thing for this institution. Um, coming up in the future, we have an exhibition on samurai, playing off this theme of knights. And for that exhibition, we're trying to find something completely new to do and a whole new way to look at it. So we're using uh, contemporary art, and contemporary culture or pop culture to kind of uh, curate it. And so it's not going to be a samurai exhibition you've ever imagined. It's more about what does it mean to be a tourist in Japan? What does it mean to be somebody who is not an insider but an outsider? And hopefully by being an outsider, we can look at this collection from a whole new light.